NASA calls them killer lakes. And while they don't look threatening now, not one but two lakes in West Africa have exploded. Flashback to August 21st, 1986 at Lake Nyos in Cameroon. This is where a sudden massive cloud of carbon dioxide burst into the air, spreading quickly and according to NASA, suffocated over 1,700 people as well as thousands of animals. Two years before that, something similar happened nearby at Lake Manun. Not nearly as deadly, but equally as puzzling. Scientists have learned it's because of what's known as a limnic eruption. CO2 collects on the bottom of these lakes usually when a volcano is near, releasing lots of gas. The CO2 keeps building up on the bottom like a shaken up soda can waiting to explode. Most lakes don't have this problem because their temperature changes throughout the year, dispersing the CO2. But in West Africa, it's hot year round, keeping the pressurized gas at the bottom. The solution? Pipes were put into those two lakes, allowing the gas to escape before there's another explosion. 